Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. Now when we left off we actually had an epic episode and we did a whole bunch of stuff and I'm talking about sieges, massive battles against the opponent in most namely the Northern Empire and uh, we tried to assist a whole bunch of our people as well. But anyway, as you can see right here, we actually have a lord, an enemy lord that we captured in those fights. And you can see here that there is actually an option to execute him. There literally is an option to do that. Which I think might actually be something I might try to do. Should I literally try to do this? I guess I could be the guinea pig because I doubt anyone else is going to do this. Let's face it, it's probably going to be an absolutely stupid idea because while it does remove them from the game, it is going to reduce our relation with these guys by a significant amount. But does it matter because we're already at war against them? So maybe it doesn't make any difference. Let's do it. All right. Executing a prisoner... Okay, we might not even be able to do it. Wait. Oh, yeah, we can, actually. Okay. Will negatively affect your reputation and will decrease your relation with the prisoner's faction and clan. You will not be able to undo this action. Are you sure you want to execute this character? Forget it or execute him. Uh, we're, we're, is that me? Is that me standing there? I think that is actually me with that huge axe. Okay. <laughs> will affect your reputation. What, what reputation? Let's do it. Oh, we don't see anything? Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of a shame, but there you go. We executed the enemy, and what actually happens to me now? What actually happens? Do I... Do, can I see? Can I see anything about me? Uh, we should probably go into the encyclopedia, right? And uh, let's take a look at Mr. Barney. Mr. Barney, there he is. All right, so our friends are these... Of course, we have enemies now because obviously we just executed. Uh, I think this is probably that guy's father or something like that. He's not a not a big fan of that, and uh, he has the reputation of being thoroughly conventional still. All right, well that's absolutely fine then I guess. And uh, this guy, he is, oh no, he's actually the head of the Varos, a noble family that is backing Lucon in the Civil War. He has the reputation of being no better friend, no worse enemy. Okay, that's actually really good then. He's actually really nice to his friends and, well, as you can see, probably really, really bad to everyone else. He has babies as his enemy, as you can see. Babies have literally just been born and he is like, murder them all. That is what he's doing. Anyway, I have been doing a bunch of off-screen, uh, you know, auto-resolve fighting and things like that. And I've also been uh, doing a whole bunch of trades and, and stuff. So basically you can see I have a huge amount of weapons here for our smithing and stuff and um, basically I've ju I'm just going to sell the wait a minute nope she's wearing those she's wearing better okay yeah anyway so what we're going to do is we're just going to select armor here real quick and we're just going to sell all of that 1500 that's pretty good that's pretty good not too bad and as I said before we're also going to be going to the dungeon and donating prisoners and we're not going to donate all of the prisoners, but we're just going to donate the ones that we don't necessarily want. So anything tier 3 and above, I'm probably going to be keeping, as well as infantry units. But Kuzate, for example, uh, actually I, I might be able to use the Kuzate, because... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? No, no. I'm just going to, to let them go. Imperial Cataphract units probably going to be something that I should keep. Uh, Imperial trained footmen, yeah, I mean, I mean infantrymen, yeah, I'll definitely keep that. There's a huge amount of looters here, as you can see, so let's just transfer a whole bunch of those out of there. Sea Raider chief, I don't really mind. Sea Raider warrior, that's fine. Sea Raider itself, there we go. All right, so we've got 34 prisoners. How much influence are we going to get for this? 31. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if that was worth it, but uh, apparently influence is actually used when doing a siege. And, well, not during the siege, but after the siege, when and if you are actually able to uh, talk about who is going to be gaining the fief. And uh, having a good amount of influence will allow you to potentially put your hat in the ring, so to speak. And that is actually going to be kind of important for us then, isn't it? So how are we currently doing here? So my linen weavery is doing 157 at Omor per day. 
which I gotta say is actually not that bad. I think that's pretty good. And uh, we're actually ending up losing a couple of, uh, a little bit of money right now because Pelasaur is having a huge problem, as you can see. Pelasaur, 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 what are you doing? I have no idea, but what I am sure of, however, is that we are having some issues with the Sturgeons being taken prisoner all of the time. So what I'm going to try to do is I will try to rescue them. I will literally try to go and rescue them. I don't think it's going to work because let's face it, I don't have the... Do I have a pretty good army? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. It's kind of half and half for the most part. So I'm just going to continue leveling these guys up. Oh yeah, a nice veteran right there. And uh, we've got some more warriors. And uh, that is basically that. Now we could execute this guy as well. Do I want to do that? I can talk to him. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him and see what he says. Because, uh, hello. Oh, okay. That was it. <laughs> that was it. All right, so execution it will be. Can I not? Oh, I can. There we go. Now I can. Okay, so there, there was some weird thing going on that didn't allow me to do it. I'm going to execute him. There we go. We will be known as Barney the very kind executioner. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so my relation didn't seem to go down there with anyone. So maybe that guy wasn't affiliated with anyone in particular. All right, well, there's Seager. She is running around with six people. It's probably not going to help her out too much, is it? Anyway, uh... Wait a minute. Am I missing someone? Pelasaur. Where is Pelasaur? He's not giving me any money whatsoever. Ah, <gasps> oh, Pelasaur. Why? Why do you do this to me, sir? Okay, so we have this fellow uh, wanting to attack us. He has 22 Imperial recruits. How many recruits do I have? I have eight, eight Sturgeon recruits. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to deal with, uh, no, never mind. Pull back, Uruk, pull back. You don't want to fight that guy. Lucon has 151. Yeah, that's not a good place to be. What about the castle? Do you think I could take that? It's probably not going to happen very easily. Uh, it has, wow, literally only 42 defenders. I'd love to take it, but I don't think I will be able to. Hello, I'm coming to scare you away. Oh dear. We might have to go into a battle here against this. Uh, could you could you help out a little bit, friend? Do you think I can win this? Maybe. Let's go in and help. Alright. Uh, 156 against 134. Let's actually take a look and see what they even have. These guys have some Imperial Cataphracts, which are, of course, going to be quite... Ooh, quite deadly for us. And they don't have much else that is that bad. So that might be kind of harsh. Shall we try it? Uh, yeah, okay, let's try it. I don't really want to, because I think that I could potentially suffer maximum casualties here but I kind of want to as well because I want to see if we can actually do something about it alright so my forces are going to be commanded by me completely by the looks of things and the other enemies are going to do the same thing as well because we're not involved in an army organizational effort so we're going to see if I can maybe do something here I'm going to put my people into shield wall that is just of course that's basically a default for us right here I'll just place my people by these trees Mm, I'm thinking maybe I should just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sturgeon Horse Raider doing some good work right there. All right, I'm actually just going to throw some uh, throne weapons into these guys. Oh, that was that... A, no, that wasn't a headshot, but that was near to it. Pretty nice. Uh, one more. Ah, never mind. All right, so yeah, we're not really going to go too close to these guys right here because, let's face it, don't really want to get my... Uh, forces trapped and we're gonna move my archers over here and we're doing all right we're doing all right and uh, it seems like my forces my friends forces have come in from the side there and we are being attacked from here so let's tell our people to charge in gonna leave my infantry the way they are because having them in horse uh, not horse having them in shield wall formation I was gonna say horse wall for a second uh, yes horse wall 
What a classic strategy from Prophecy of Pendle, yes. Anyway, the point is, is that we should be pretty good to just wait here. And uh, as you can see, we seem to be doing a... Ah, uh, I'm still bad on horseback. I know. I'm still bad on horseback. Oh, there we go. Oh, that guy stole my kill right at the end there. All right. There we go. Cut him down. Cut down those peasants. Ah, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So, otherwise, how are we doing? Are we doing okay? No, we're not actually doing okay. So, as you can see, all my all my infantry got cut down. Are you serious right now? That is actually kind of hilarious. I would not have expected that. But uh, I guess you know what happened. You know what happened? They they're just better. You know, they're just better. Okay, I guess we're going to have to do some casual answer. Yeah, there we go. We've got some reinforcements coming in, though. We've got some... I think these are my reinforcements, actually. So I'm going to tell my people to charge in. And uh, oh, I only have cavalry remaining. I actually don't have any infantry, I think. Okay, so that is... not going great. I'm going to have to do some damage to these archers. And maybe that will scare them a little. Yep, seems to be working quite nicely. We, we might actually achieve a victory here. If we can achieve a victory, I will be extremely surprised. They seem to be running thanks to our morale damage that we've dealt so far. And uh, my spear, my spearmanship is getting a little better, but not uh, not anything to write home about just yet. It is going all right. Nothing amazing. Oh, nice. That was a veteran. Very nice indeed. Okay. So, I think we're done. I think that is indeed it. And I don't exactly know how many units we have lost or anything like that, because uh, there is no casualty report in Battle Lord, as far as I'm aware. So you're just going to have to see the terrible, terrible efforts of Barney at the end. So, yeah. Anyway, I could technically uh, retreat right now, but I kind of want to get some additional whole arm skill. Maybe I should try out my sword a little bit. Oh, that actually worked. Oh, that didn't. <laughs> okay, well, if they can escape... Yep, there we go. If they can escape now, then I... Oh, I actually... Oh, okay. Apparently, they're not retreating. And apparently, me pressing... Uh, me pressing tab now doesn't make any difference. All right. Well, it seems like we just have to wait for them to run away then. There we go. The enemies are now fleeing, and we have now achieved victory. All right, so there's seven right now. 6.3 influence. Not too bad. How many did we end up losing, though? Because we have 87 deaths. Six... Uh, no, wait. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong side. 19, we lost 19. That's actually not that bad. But how many, what, what did we actually lose? We lost some veteran warriors, which is pretty bad, because these guys are pretty good, in my opinion. And uh, we lost some soldiers, which are not too bad, and otherwise we just lost some randoms. So there we go. I'm actually leaving the area as well, because I took too long. Great. Okay, so we actually helped this guy. We've got some uh, relation increase with him as well, which is very good. And I can take this guy prisoner. Ooh, you know what's going to happen? Do you know what's going to happen? Maybe you do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a prisoner. Absolutely. And I will take this guy prisoner as well. I can't believe I'm getting super lucky taking so many of these guys prisoner, to be honest. I would, would expect them to be able to escape relatively easily, but maybe that's something that... Uh, the developers have changed about Bannerlord. Maybe they've made it so that it is a little bit easier for uh, people to be taken prisoner. And bear in mind that uh, I do have death enabled. That is a thing that uh, I wanted to to turn on because it is pretty serious. It is a serious, um, well, ultimatum, I guess you could call it. It's a serious, you know, alternative in various different ways. And uh, I kind of felt like it was necessary to put it on because it just makes it that much more tense. Everything is much more tense in that regard. All right, so we actually have... Who is that? Is that a caravan right there? Or, or what is what is this, actually? I don't... Th I think this is from the Southern Empire. So I will not be fighting them. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I have 32 people that are wounded right now thanks to uh, our wonderful medic 
she does a great job she really does and let's see what i can do here so i can recruit some more nope nope uh, vashorki was just here and he has taken all of the troops which is to be expected nothing to worry about though all right so let's actually just take a look at the armor here real quick because you never know there might actually be something lordly padded mittens these things are pretty crazy maybe i can give someone a bit of an upgrade yep there we go is there anything else there anything else here Mm, yes, yes. Slight increase, slight increase. Nothing nothing to write home about, though, really. Uh, heavy nasal helm, no merchant's hat, no. Okay, nothing else seems relatively good, so we'll just sell the rest. All right, so that seems nice. And then, of course, we have a huge amount of weapons. And I think I'm, I'm literally taking around way too many weapons, personally. So I think I might have to do something about that. Also, I am thinking... Uh, I am thinking of replacing my throwing weapons. Even though I don't want to, because I personally find them extremely fun to use, I feel like maybe it would be more advantageous. I'm going to sell the cow and the sheep here. But maybe it would be more advantageous. We've also got flax. Why do I have flax on me? I have no idea, but I guess I'll just lock it. But anyway, I think it would be more advantageous to potentially use a bow of some kind. So I'm going to see if I can maybe buy one. Let's have a look. Melee weapons? No, I want ranged. Okay, so you're going to need bow 30 to be able to use anything better. So I guess I will just use the step bow that we have right here. And then I will use some... Let's have a look here. What's better? the ranged arrows instead of the spear. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea, but if I do get dismounted, I will be absolutely useless using a spear on the ground as an infantry. So I'm kind of going with this instead. And I think I'm going to sell all of these shields and everything as well. Let me actually just take a quick look here to see whether anything... No, I'm just going to... Wait a minute. There might be something good for some of our other people here as well. Uh, I guess we could give her a reinforced kite shield. Because the kite shield doesn't seem to be that bad for me right now. It seems to be working quite well, so why not, you know? And she's wearing, yeah, she's using ranged arrows as well. So let's just sell all of that for 2,000. And we'll keep our one set of throwing weapons too. All right, so let's go to the keep once again. And we will donate more prisoners. And I could, I could recruit these guys. It might actually make sense for me to recruit some of them. So let me actually do that first. So let me go to my party here. And we can recruit these guys. So let's recruit them. There we go. I am holding shift, but apparently it doesn't allow me to uh, recruit as many as I would like. But there you go. Okay, so that's fine. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to give the rest. That's it. I'm just going to give the rest because uh, we have maximum party size now as far as I'm aware because our party size is currently 85 and that is exactly what we have. So I can't take any more. And so we are just going to donate the prisoners right here. And there you go. Uh, actually, you know, not, not these two. Not these two. They're not escaping. They're not escaping because you know what we're going to be doing with them. Oh, yes. They're not going to live much longer. Mm -hmm. They will not be living much longer. So let's uh, execute. There we go. We're going to be getting huge amounts of uh, people hating us and everything. But uh, this is actually going to help us in the long run to actually achieve some kind of victory against the Northern Empire. Because all of these lords being removed from the game is going to make taking things and indeed fighting against their armies so much easier it really is let's go into the smithy now because i would like to forge a couple of extra stuff so let's actually oh wow this looks like a pretty cool weapon what is this it's a star falchion blade head wow that looks cool huh that looks really really cool i can't forge it unfortunately because i don't have all the required materials i actually need fine steel to be able to make that but that seems super fun. What about this? What's this? Okay, I guess I'll just forge that. Uh, I don't really care about it at the moment. So I'm just literally going to craft it just because I can craft it. And then 
you know, move on. Okay, so let's let's craft one of these. What it what is what is this? I don't even know what this is. Star Falchion blade head. Oh, okay, so I can actually do that. And as you can see, my smelting, uh, well, my uh, my smithing is going up. So I'm just going to smelt a whole bunch as well until we're running out of uh, our energy there. And then we're going to wait here for some time because I actually do have 30 people that are still knocked unconscious. All right, so we have uh, Vashorsky or Vashorki. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying his name wrong. But anyway, Vashorki right here has another army and I will be joining him and we will see exactly what we can do. Because as you can see, we do have a number of other people that have already said that they're going to be coming. So Galden is going to be coming and Yorig is going to be coming again. And hopefully we will be able to... Oh, no, never mind. Yorig is not, not actually doing something because he has just been taken prisoner by the Northern Empire. And our conspiracy... Something is something is happening with the conspiracy right there. Let me actually just take a quick look. Yeah, it is increasing. So I'm not... I, I don't really know, as I say, how to stop that. But I guess we will find out relatively soon. And uh, I'm sure some of you will be leaving comments as well, which will very much help me out. Anyway, this... Oh, shoot. Uh, wow, okay. That is... <laughs> uh, that is a big army. Hey, uh, do you mind? Friend? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You should be... Running away. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, uh, huh, I will do the horse, I will do the, I will do the archers, I will do the archers, okay. Fire from infantry cover, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that, but wow, okay, can't believe the AI took so long to react, and then we're now in this situation, okay. Definitely should have left the army when I thought, that was a bit of a stupid thing on my part, I definitely should have left the army at that point. I guess I do have a bow, so uh, <laughs> I will try to use it. I will try to use it in a decent fashion here. Uh, I hope that we will be able to escape this in some, how, in some way. I don't know how that's going to happen. What are my people doing? Do you see? Do you see what's happening here? This is absolute insanity. I really don't know what's happening. Okay, so face enemy. That's what we're going to try to say for them to do. Don't know what else. Uh, archers can do actually just in a line we could scatter them doesn't really make any difference in my opinion probably going to uh, have some issues anyway fire from infantry cover well that's that's exactly what where we are isn't it I mean we're we're right here and uh, we do have a bow I do have a bow ready to be used and uh, I'm not entirely sure whether I should act as kind of like a horse archer or something because um, I do have a bow and I might make, might uh, do something with it potentially. We are eliminating, uh, actually no, we're not eliminating anyone. Seems like the enemy is eliminating us more like. So let me just get out my bow here real quick, see if I can do something. There's a little bit of damage. Bear in mind that my accuracy is going to be absolutely terrible because I have never used a bow before, so, you know. The best thing that I can really do is literally just pepper them a little bit and, uh, yeah, fire from behind. Yeah, I know. I'm doing that. I am firing from behind uh, from infantry cover. So, yeah, those guys are actually firing, so hopefully we'll do okay. We're doing okay by heading in here as well. Hopefully we'll do some damage. Here we go, Empire Peasant. <laughs> yeah. But yes, as you can see, we're having some issues. So I think personally we should retreat. And I'm actually going to try and do that. Because I don't know whether you can tell, but uh, the bar at the very top there. Oh dear. Yes. The AI has gotten me into a very sticky situation indeed. And I guess I will just be sending my troops. That will probably be the best thing that we can do. And that is it. We will have to... We will have to surrender. There is nothing else I can do about it. Unfortunately. Alright, so we do have the opportunity to accept the offer of uh, this guy. And uh, he can take 3,000 of my money. And then we will be let go. And that is exactly what I will be doing. Now... 
I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get back from here without being attacked by a huge amount of bandits. And, uh, well, that trusts me, doesn't it? Uh, or shall we say, that shows me to trust the, uh, the AI to do the right thing in these situations. Because they did the wrong thing, absolutely the wrong thing. I should have left the army as soon as I saw those 400 units coming at us and uh, just left the AI to fend for themselves, I suppose. That's basically the one thing that I should have done. But it's okay because we will be able to recruit a whole bunch of units here. But bear in mind that uh, it might take me a little bit of time. So I'm going to actually end this episode off here. I will try to get back to a suitable, uh, suitable strength and uh, then we'll see what we can do. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.